Well, good morning, everybody. Um, Today is a great day to launch a, so a new social media platform that's going to help us as a city connect with our residents in a new and innovative way. Uh, the social media platform is called Nextdoor, and it's sometimes called uh, a Facebook for neighborhoods. I, this is interesting. I'm the original Luddite talking about social media here. Um, <laughs> with Nextdoor, uh, the city can post uh, messages geared towards specific neighborhoods, groups of neighborhoods, or citywide. Uh, residents can send messages to the city, but their privacy is protected. The partnership is free, uh, and next, uh, is free to the city, and it's, um, Nextdoor is free to use for everybody. Uh, the city already uses uh, Facebook, Twitter, Nixel, Channel 2 uh, to communicate with our residents, and this complements those efforts. Uh, the city will launch its la uh, partnership with Nextdoor using three accounts. The mayor's office will have one, the police department will have one, uh, and our own city communications office will have a third one, which will coordinate messages from all the other city departments. Um, the city will send out specific messages about programs and services that affect particular neighborhoods. Uh, I'll give you an example. For, after a big storm like we had just the other night, we can tell residents when our cleanup crews will be in their neighborhood, and residents can tell us about uh, downed trees and branches and those types of issues. So uh, whether neighbors are talking over the back fence or through social media, we know that connected neighborhoods build stronger cities, and we want to make that communication platform as easy as possible with the city of Kansas City. Uh, you all know that our mayor is all over social media, and this new channel is also an excellent tool for public safety. So you'll hear from the mayor and Deputy Chief Hundley in a moment, but first let me introduce uh, Sarah, Sarah Larry, uh, one of the co-founders of Next Door. Sarah, come on up. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome Thank to Kansas you. City. Thank you. On behalf of the entire Next Door team, I want to thank uh, City Manager Schultze, uh, Deputy Chief Hunley, and Mayor James for, for welcoming us today, and also to uh, Chief Fort for making this day possible. Um, really being champions of, of using technology as a way to bring communities together is what we're all about. And we're thrilled to be able to partner with the progressive leaders of the city of Kansas City, Missouri to make that possible. Uh, as mentioned, Nextdoor is actually not new to Kansas City residents. For over two years, there have been more than 100 neighborhoods that have started using Nextdoor as a way for neighbors to talk to each other. Nextdoor really started as a platform that enabled neighbors to talk to each other about the issues that mattered. Neighbors really appreciate Nextdoor because of its private nature. In order to join a Nextdoor website, you have to be able to verify that you live within the boundaries of the neighborhood. This is really essential to creating a trusted environment where members feel comfortable talking about everyday things like trying to find the name of a great babysitter or a good plumber, personal things like trying to find a lost family pet, which happens quite a bit right around the 4th of July. We got a rash of that across the country, especially here in Kansas City. Uh, or urgent things like notifying each other about a rash of break-ins in the community. At the same time, we were contacted by city officials here in Kansas City who were looking for innovative ways to be able to connect with residents and partner with them to build a stronger and safer community. Based on the leadership really spearheaded by the Innovation Office as well as the Police Department, we're excited that starting today, the Mayor's Office, the City Manager's Office, and the Police Department will be able to send out targeted messages to neighborhoods across the city. As mentioned, they can send out an individual, a message to an individual neighborhood, to groups of neighborhoods, or the entire city with a single click of a button. And so with today's announcement, we're really seeing the combination of the power of technology combined with good old-fashioned power of neighbors to build stronger and safer cities right here in Kansas City. I want to thank the mayor, city manager, as well as the entire police department for their progressive leadership for seeing the power of not just technology, but partnering with neighborhoods to build a stronger and safer city. None of this would be possible without the incredible leadership of neighborhoods that we have here in Kansas City. It's really all about our, our residents and, in our case, the founding members of these next door communities. Several of them are here today. Let's see, Larry Marsh over there from Redbridge, 
uh, Katie uh, from Highland View, and we have several others, Carol over here. So they are all available to be able to tell the stories of how their next door communities are using next door and their unique stories. And so I encourage you to seek them out and hear their own stories in their own words. On behalf of everyone at Nextdoor, I just want to thank you. We're honored to be here today and honored to launch this partnership. And with that, I'd like to uh, introduce Deputy Chief Hunley to be able to speak on, say a couple of words. Come on up. Thank you so much. Good morning. Chief Forte wanted to be here today and he apologizes. He had a family emergency he had to attend to, so I am the pinch hitter. Um, Chief Forte has been talking about this program for quite some time now, so it's good that it, it is here today and we're talking about it. Uh, one of the primary goals since Chief has been the uh, Chief of Kansas City was to continue to build positive relationships within the residents that we serve. Nextdoor provides us the opportunity to augment those existing relationships online while fostering new ones. We're trained about 75 officers and sergeants to use and manage the system. They will be responsible for communicating with people in the geographic areas they police. They know the concerns and opportunities in these areas already and are best suited to interact with the residents they serve. The officers will be able to post information pertaining to their whole division or down to their individual beats. We don't intend for next door to be a replacement for face-to-face -face contact, but rather a complement to what we're already doing. We look forward to the residents being able to provide us information about safety concerns in their neighborhood and working with them to address those concerns. Similarly, Nextdoor will serve as a great tool for us in soliciting assistance. As police, we can only do so much. We need the eyes, ears, and cooperation of everyone to make this a safer city. The whole neighborhood of people watching for criminal activity or suspect is usually far more effective at deterring and solving crime than anything our officers or detectives could do. Next door is another tool in our social media belt. Our police department has had great success with it and in 2013 was named the fourth most social media friendly police department in the nation. Someone else who understands the power social media can have on our city is Mayor Sly James, who I'd like to invite to the podium now. Well, good morning, and thank you all for being here today. I, uh, uh, I'm extremely happy to join with City Communications and the Police Department in partnering uh, with Nextdoor. And Sarah, thank you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being in Kansas City. Hang around, buy some stuff, eat some food. Um, I hope everybody has kind of noticed in the last few years that there is a lot of different stuff going on in Kansas City than there used to be. And I need to always remember that those changes were brought about by the leadership that's in place. Troy Schulte is not just a city manager, he's a city manager with some vision and who is not afraid to take on a new challenge. Chief Darrell Forte has transformed the police department and is in the process of doing so. We see the results of what Chief Forte is doing. We see the results of what uh, City Manager Schulte is doing. We have, in every instance, pushed communication. We have, in every instance, tried to do those things that make Kansas City one place where neighbors can rely on neighbors, where people north of the river, south of the river, and east of and west of Troost can feel proud about being Kansas Cityans, and this is one of those steps. We have long understood the need to use technology to bridge gaps and to be more efficient in government. In this post-recession era, where government is forced to be more efficient, where we are forced to be on the local level more reliant on each other and our neighbors, because quite frankly, we can't always be sure that we can get what we need from the federal or the state government. We have to do it at this level. Then it's only right and sensible that we start doing everything that we can to tie together our citizens and our neighborhoods in a way that they can communicate with each other, that they can support each other, they can help each other. Now, you'll know that my director of public affairs, Joni over there, and um, social media person, Kelly over there, uh, they're here and they can tell you how much fun it is to be hanging around waiting for me to get in touch with them and 
Facebook, or I don't do Facebook, she does, but Twitter and phone and text and emails and all sorts of other ways. Next door is an opportunity for our citizens and our neighbors to do exactly the same thing. When I call Joni or Kelly after hours, I don't do it just for the heck of it. I do it because there's a reason something's wrong, something, something needs to be discussed, something good is going on and it needs to be shared. That's what next door will allow neighbors and neighborhoods to do. And you know, I don't know, some of you I see, I see Bill Grady here, I know he's older than I am, but uh, <laughs> those of you who are Bill Grady's age and mine remember what it was like to grow up in neighborhoods when communication was very simple. When you were out playing and the porch light went on, it was time to get closer to home. Or when you were out playing, running up and down the street, and you could hear your mother's voice or your father's voice yell, it was time to get home. And then they had a relay system. My father would yell up the street to the next house, and they'd yell, and finally they'd reach us two blocks away. Bottom line is, we have always sought ways to communicate neighbor to neighbor, and next door is a technological fix that will allow a lot more rapid, a lot broader communication, and it will recreate the front porch, but do it in a technological way. You know, back in um, October, the challenge cabinet uh, uh, led by Ashley Hand back there, uh, our chief innovation officer, by the way, the first chief woman chief innovation officer in the entire country, launched uh, an annual Kansas City Ideas Fair. And the purpose of that Ideas Fair was to create those opportunities for residents to come together and talk about things that they thought would be helpful to them to present creative ideas, concepts, etc., and to have the potential to have an impact on this city in a very positive way. Um, we had a very great turnout for that, a lot of tremendous ideas, and Larry Marsh was there, um, and uh, he's he joined us, he participated in the Ideas Fair, and he was the one that entered the idea of, uh, of expanding next door and using next door as a communications tool. Uh, the Red Bridge neighborhood where he lives is already using that technology and the benefits are clear. So thanks Larry for doing what you did and being part of the event. Um, Troy Lillibo, where are you Troy? There you are. Troy Lillibo was a member of the Challenge Cabinet. He's here today and along with other members of the Challenge Cabinet, they investigated this idea further by reaching out to some of the other cities who were engaged in using Nextdoor and they determined some best practices and they found some things that made them say yeah this is something that we really need to get our hands on so we were encouraged by that feedback but the bottom line is is that this is just one more example of how this city in the last few years has used every opportunity to innovate in order to connect our citizens together in some way shape and or form whether it's by streetcar, whether it's by transportation, whether it's by technology, whether it's by Twitter, Facebook, telephone, channel two, you've noticed the changes. The website is upgraded. The communication staff is upgraded. We are doing everything we can to communicate and next door will do exactly that for neighbors and neighborhoods to communicate. This is important stuff. Cities are built not just out of bricks and mortar, but they're built out of the way that people in those cities relate to each other. This is another way for our citizens and neighbors to relate to each other in a way that maybe they hadn't had much of an opportunity to do in the past. So, thanks to everybody for participating. This is a step that I think will take us on a path to becoming a very comprehensive and cohesive city. And most importantly, I think Nextdoor has a very real but maybe not totally discuss potential. This is a way for us to get back into that mentality of taking care of our neighbor. See something, say something, do something. Help a neighbor. Get in touch with a neighbor. Warn a neighbor about a problem. Help a neighbor find a child or, or a pet. Spread good news. If we have more neighbors talking to each other, protecting each other, supporting each other. We'll have happier people, we'll have less crime. And then what we really ought to do is we ought to get big signs that say, next door neighborhood, don't bring your stuff in here <laughs> and put it up so that people who want to come in and cause trouble sit, know that if you go in there, your chances of getting caught are going to be much higher. That's what we need to do in this city and I'm glad we're doing it.
So tell me what you think is the coolest thing. You've been using this for a year. Why do you love it so much? I love it because I can communicate with my neighbors in a very safe manner. Everybody feels protected. They're, they can remain anonymous if they choose. But uh, there's, there's a lot of history in our neighborhood. Our neighborhood's not as old as some of the historic neighborhoods in Kansas City, but there's residents that have lived there for 30 years. And recently the city has been doing a lot of improvements in our area. We're getting sidewalks improved. We've had sidewalks, but new ones. Um, we have improvements to our parks, including a little kids play area. And we're part of the new nature trail that is, is going on in the Northland. So when residents are like, what is this mess? You know, and they kind of have this, eh, why, are, why is this mess here? I'm able to get on and say, hey, I, I went and found out what's going on. This is our tax dollars at work. Isn't it exciting? And so I always try to put a little positive spin on things. I, I would hope that people are happy. But um, the best thing I would say is the crime uh, fighting. We've like become, a watch? Yes. Without the responsibility of having one person in charge, we have come together and we were actually able, within three months of founding next door, we were able to catch a felon who had sack, you know, like ransacked our garages, our cars, cased our neighborhood for about a month. And once we started talking, we had him in, the police had him in custody within about four days. That was amazing. That was amazing. And it doesn't mean that we let our guard down, but we look out for each other. Another thing we did is we started the drive the extra block because there's three or four ways into our neighborhood. If you always drive the same way, you're never seeing what's going on in other street. So we encourage people to keep your porch lights on and drive an extra block so that you're coming in the back way to your house. And that way, you're on the lookout. Are these people out there gonna egg my house or are they just out for a walk? <laughs> You know? Okay, so. cool. That's a good idea, too. So, you've been on this about a year as well. What do you think is the best part for you guys? Uh, like Katie said, the uh, real-time uh, interaction. Um, plus, though, you know, other than maybe having a directory from your homeowners association of who lives in your neighborhood, Nextdoor allows you to elaborate a little bit and uh, put pictures and uh, introduce yourself and tell your... A story a little bit about your family and how you, maybe you ended up in the neighborhood or uh, what your history is in the neighborhood and um, it's just uh, a means of being able to do what uh, the mayor was saying and that is uh, talk to your neighbor like you used to over the fence uh, walking up and down the street talking uh, to people on their front porches uh, we miss a lot of that now and uh, in a more busy world and it's just a way to uh, communicate uh, even the smallest uh, neighborhood issues uh, or neighborhood information in a real timely manner.